So Bill's gay. It's not a big deal, really. You know? It's really not. But I'm just going to say my thoughts on it anyway. Just roll the intro. Look at this, I sorted out my Doctor Who DVDs and also Torchwood there as well. But yeah, I've got the Daleks, Simon, and everything in chronological order. I, I am proud of this. Anyway, on with the video. A new companion, Bill Potts, has been confirmed as gay. I'm alright with this. I'm pretty sure everyone should be alright with this. It's not a big deal, we're far enough into the 21st century to be like, Oh, gay's fine. Being gay's fine. But the way the BBC marketed it was like, Oh, she's the first companion to be openly gay. So gay characters in Doctor Who have been a thing for longer you may, than you may think. Jack, who is actually omnisexual. There was quite a bit of subtext with Ace being a lesbian. There was that one throwaway line which suggested that Clara's bisexual. There's also a line in a Big Finish audio that Adric is potentially bisexual. Yanto's probably bisexual. Charlie and Mateusz from class are, well, they're both gay. Vastra and Jenny, well, they're both a pair. Also in Big Finish, I, I like to think Liv and Helen are kind of together, like, I mean, I, I ship them, but let's not get into that. But then you get companions such as Izzy, Izzy Sinclair is an 8th Doctor companion from the comics, and it turns out she is a lesbian. Now, the BBC are completely ignoring this, seeing as how, you know, Izzy is, like, a homosexual woman, such as Bill. The BBC aren't paying attention to this. Um, I mean, they should say Bill's the first on-screen gay companion, openly gay companion, because you're completely ignoring comics, which I don't read the comics, but there are some fans of the comics that would be disappointed um, hearing that they're completely ignoring Izzy, and fans of the comics may, may want to put Izzy into their canon. And TARDIS Wiki, they actually were able to fit um, the comics and the audios together in the Eighth Doctor's timeline, so that's a thing. There's also the companion of Oliver Harper. Oliver Harper is a First Doctor companion from the Companion Chronicles range of Big Finish. He is arguably the earliest chronological non-heterosexual companion to the Doctor from an in-universe point of view. That's what TARDIS Wiki says. They're completely ignoring Big Finish as well. I mean, the whole point of Oliver Harper was that he's gay in the 1960s, before 1969, which, if you don't know, homosexuality was legalised in the UK in 1969. So, there are problems. And there's a whole thing where Stephen was like, yeah, in my time, it's acceptable, you're going to be fine. The Doctor was okay with it as well, um, apparently. I've not listened to them. I want to, but I've not listened to them. Yeah, they're completely ignoring him. So... I guess that he's not open, but he's still a gay companion. Um, but then we get on to Ace. Now, according to Rona Munro, writer of Survival, and she is also writing something in Series 10, that there was to be a lesbian subtext uh, to the relationship between Ace and Kara, that cheetah person from Survival. So this raises the possibility of Ace being the first LGBT companion on screen. That Well, that's what Tara's Wiki says, but there's also subtext in Battlefield, which I've not seen, but that was unintentional. In Survival, it was intended, so... I guess Ace? I mean, Ace... I, I'm not really sure of her sexuality, so she's LGBT, certainly, but... There's so many LGBT companions, and that's great. Um, the BBC just don't acknowledge the extended universe ones, or even some of the televised ones, but still, it's perfectly fine having LGBT companions. So I'm going to be looking at some tweets about uh, 
Bill being gay, because, you know, I kind of wanted to incorporate this bit of news into the video. I might as well say my thoughts while uh, Twitter loads up. I think Bill being gay, it really doesn't affect me that much, but it's making me slightly more excited because, you know, I'm a sucker for gay characters. I think it would be a better way of introducing, um, like, homosexuality into family households that don't particularly know or understand it, um, rather than in schools showing this. Give yourselves a round of applause. This is so gay. Yes, it's so gay. So we're going to take off our gay hoodies and we're going to sweat some. Oh, we ain't going to dance, are we? Mm-hmm. To Shakespeare. Oh. oh. Don't tell me that you lot don't like Shakespeare. So, Diamanda Hagen, uh, great YouTuber, really recommend her videos. Um, she retweeted uh, Radio Times' post about Bill being gay, and she says, Little things like this, and the 10th Planet Cybermen, and Rona Munro writing a net are convincing me to watch season 10. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, get, it's getting people to watch it, and yeah. So, Dimmy Looming, she's got a lot to say. So Bill's gonna be gay in Doctor Who. Oh boy, this is gonna be handled so f***ing well, isn't it? Christ. She then goes on to say, Bear in mind how well Moffat's written lesbians before. All of them at one point have made a comment about being attracted to a man. And she gives a hint to Moffat like, Psst, Moffat, take this from a real life lesbian here. That's not what lesbians do! Also, she says, a straight guy on Facebook told her how having a gay character is pandering and that LGBT, pe LGBT people are overrepresented. Ha! That's not true at all. There's a few in Corrie. That's all I can think of right at the moment. Babel Colors says, confused by the BBC News story about Bill Potts being the first openly gay companion, I think... Captain Jack and Clara were pretty explicitly bi, because bisexuality and homosexuality are clearly the same thing. That's pretty much all, apart from the fact that the guy that made the rainbow flag died. Yeah, that is it for my video, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, um, I shall see you when, well, we do the Series 10 reviews. Cheerio! Uh, sorry, uh, I just remembered, um, uh, while editing this video, I'm just gonna give some evidence that, um, Jack is omnisexual because clearly Jean-Luc thinks otherwise, and so does Babel Color, so I, I, I shall give that. First time ever we had a, uh, we call him omnisexual, we call him omnisexual, 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 omnisexual.